Hey guys, how's it going? Mr. Mitchell here. In this video, I'm going to go over how to combine uncertainties for a measurement. And this is something that will probably be most useful to you during your project. So let's get started. Now, the first thing to point out is that if there is a known systematic uncertainty in your measurements, then a correction can be made for it. And that means that if all your measurements are either all too high or all too low, um, then you can make a correction for it. The calibration, scale reading and random uncertainties, however, must be combined to give an overall total uncertainty in your measurement. And the way we do that is we use this relationship here, where the total uncertainty is equal to the square root of the calibration uncertainty squared plus the scale reading uncertainty squared plus the random uncertainty squared. And there's one key rule that we need to be aware of when we're using this calculation. So if any of the three uncertainties is less than one third of one of the other uncertainties in the measurement, or the biggest uncertainty, then it can be ignored in the above calculation. So as an example, let's say my calibration uncertainty was plus or minus one centimeter, my random uncertainty was plus or minus five centimeters, and my scale reading uncertainty was plus or minus seven centimeters, then that means I could get rid of my calibration uncertainty because it's less than one third of my biggest uncertainty or the other uncertainties. So I could get rid of the calibration uncertainty and that would simplify my calculation there. And the next thing to mention is that when we're combining calibration, scale reading and random uncertainties in this way for a measurement, we use the absolute uncertainty. So we don't actually use percentage uncertainties in this case. And note that the total uncertainty should be rounded to one significant figure. Remember we said earlier that the absolute uncertainties should be rounded to one significant figure or two at a push. And this is the same for the total uncertainty. That's all from me guys. If you like this video, give it one of these and make sure you subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Thank you.